Rogatad and Ayel of Hanumel of Haolam, Motsi, Lechem, Minha Aretz. Good morning! Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we are here in Gardening Zone 6B in New England. And we're gonna make some matzo brai. Come on along. So I was talking with a friend the other night and we were talking about how my matzo brai and her matzo brai are two completely different animals. We got talking about the Jewish diaspora and how everybody's traditions are a little bit different from everybody else's. And it brings to mind this moment at religious camp when I was like 14 or 15. We're all part of USY, it's a youth group for conservative Jewish kids. Anyway, we were out in the mountains of North Carolina and we were doing the Friday night service and everybody's tune was just a little bit different. And what it brought us were the most beautiful harmonies. Um, so I think about that a lot in terms of traditions that we follow and what we do and what we don't do and those Sephardim out there, they're eating rice. I could be Sephardim for eight days. Anyway, Raina and I are going to make some matzo brai and we're going to feed it to Megan. You all remember Raina, right? Hello. Hello. So, what was your childhood experience of Passover like? It was a lot. It was a lot of family members, a lot of food, a lot of food. It was nice. Yeah. It was fun. What's your favorite thing that, that gets served at Passover? Latkes. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Straight That's up. That's the best. Onions and potatoes. Nothing better than that. I love onions and potatoes. I think it's in the DNA. Yeah. 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 This yeah. is part of us. So we're going to do two different kinds of matzo brai today. Matzo brai is, every culture has something that they do with the leftover crumbly stuff in the mm -hmm. bottom of the box, right? Yep. Um, I'm accustomed to making mine not unlike migas, um, which is what people do with the corn chips in the mm -hmm. bottom of the bag. Yep. Um, and yours is a little more complicated. Yeah, Tell I like a sweet do. one. So I'm gonna crumble up the matzah in here. We're gonna add sugar, some milk, eggs, nutmeg, cinnamon, and vanilla extract. So it's like French toast, but matzah. And I'm gonna do a scramble that involves some shallots and some cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. Let's scramble some eggs. Yeah. All right, so we're each gonna do how many eggs? Two, Two eggs. And I'll have you know, these are backyard chicken fresh eggs. Pretty green ones. Song. Song is the Americana. She lays the green eggs. Uh, so, you know, of course, check for blood spots, but because we don't have a rooster, there probably won't be any. I add a little water to mine to make okay. it fluffy. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I don't measure anything, so just kinda play it by ear. I probably see it's like a quarter a cup of milk, if that. This is fun. This is fun. So, <laughs> Show the people what you got there. So I got some eggs and milk. And I saw you put in nutmeg. Yes, we have nutmeg. And then we'll do some cinnamon. Again, we don't measure anything. I like a lot of cinnamon. And do you prefer a nonstick, a cast iron? What do you like? Probably a nonstick. I feel like the cast iron sometimes will, it'll get stuck to it. It stays hot for so long. Like it so does, hot. which is nice. Which is great if I'm doing like a joint of meat or something. Right. Um, but I don't like it for eggs. Mm -mm. I just don't. How many, how many pieces of, of the matzo would you like? Mm, we'll start with two. Okay. Some vanilla. A splurt. Or two splurts, if you will. It smells heavenly. Oh. And we just take it 
and crumble oh, it. Oh, you're putting it in now? Yep. Okay. I throw mine in at the end. So, so this becomes more like a French toast because it soaks in the milk and the egg, and then it becomes like a big pancake, pretty much. Oh, I can't wait to see how this goes. I'm gonna crumble mine into a bowl, and I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna do one. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, you're really going for it, huh? Yep. Okay. That's what it looks like. It looks pretty gross, but it Yay! tastes really good. That's <laughs> all that matters. So you have set the uh, temp at medium high? Yes. Okay. And we're going butter. You could do margarine on this if you yes. wanted to, but butter. Butter's good. Butter's butter. better. I didn't have butter until I was almost 21. Um Same. Yeah, you too? Yeah. Yeah, we were we were margarine people. We were raised in margarine households. Margarine is not real butter. No, it's but not. But it tastes really good. It's been processed within an inch of its life. It yeah. I just don't like it. Sometimes and some of them leave my mouth feeling greasy. Yeah, we don't like that. Mm, so we're going with real butter. Butter. So this is what it looks like. Um, I did add another thing of matzah because it wasn't soaking up the liquid. You can see that there. Um, but I kind of just like crush it up in the bowl. And you're doing this to get it to absorb as much of the liquid yes. as possible? Because you don't want the egg to separate and just bake by itself. You want it to actually be mixed in and soaked through the matzah. See, I'm going to do it the other way. Because yours will then be more crunchy. Right, right. Where mine's supposed to be soft like French toast. It smells like French toast. It, does. it smells great. It smells so good. I think the nutmeg was genius. It smells like graham crackers. Nom, nom, nom. All right, so our oil, well, not oil, our, our butter. butter is nice and hot. So we're just gonna take this and pop it in. And then just mush it around. And then it will just, it's not really hard you just kind of leave it and let it bake you could probably put this in the oven too end I, up like a quiche i bet you could do this like a frittata like, yeah but you'd have to use the cast iron yeah we'll just let it sit and bake like right. a pancake so we are just gently bubbling around the edges and is this going to come out more like a scramble or more like so a pancake? So it can be a pancake. It also can be a scramble. Um, kind of depends on how it stays together um, and how I feel that day. Okay. And then I think we're going to top it off with some of the maple syrup you made from Ooh. last year. Oh, that looks good. It smells great. Let's grab a a lid and pop it over it and we'll keep it nice and warm all right so my father rarely rarely cooked i've seen i saw him cook two things one of which was matzo bread and i think the other one might have been plain eggs anyway this when he would start his matzo bread, he would start with a few slices of salami in there to get the, the grease going. I'm not gonna do salami, I'm just gonna do cheese. So I've got some butter in my pan. It is over medium high heat, so a six. Come on, look. Okay, and then our egg. Just gonna sprinkle a little cheese in. I want this to just about set, just a little bit. Okay, a little bit of pepper, because pepper makes everything better. And then I'm gonna toss in my matzahs. <laughs> Mm. 
Mine always comes out as a scramble, never a pancake. That's the way it goes. And there it is. Okay. Matzo bra is done. We're going to see what Megan thinks. Megan, have you ever had matzo bra before? I don't believe so. Okay, so this is, it, it's basically migas, but with matzo instead of corn chips. Okay. Okay, so you made a sweet version. Yep, French toast, and we have maple syrup from the backyard from last year. Mm. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Get in there, baby girl. All right. Oh, oh, why you fork? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to taste it too. Mm hmm. Oh. Mmm. I like that it's not too sweet. Mm hmm. Yeah, because that could be cloying, mm -hmm. right? Mm. Just a little bit. Super nice. This is so good. Get in there. That mm. one's really good. Yeah. How are we? Me. Oh. Mm. Oh my god, it's egg. That tastes like childhood to me. Oh, this is good. Tastes like a quiche. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. So I like lie. them both. Awesome. Get in here. Eat more. Oh, good, because I didn't eat breakfast. Excellent. <laughs> this is really good, too. It is. I have a hard time doing sweet in the morning. That's okay. It's more for me. Well, that, I think, would be good warm or hot, uh, mm -hmm. warm or cold. Mm -hmm. That egg, you have to eat hot, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. This is like a go over. If anything, like cold mm -hmm. stuff, I'll eat that cold. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Megan and I are going to get down to cleaning this house up for Passover. We're not changing dishes, but we're going to do a little bit of observance. Um, and yeah, we got our work cut out for us, huh? Mm -hmm. you know, I've got your shower done. You did the shower? I did the entire shower. Oh my God, you're amazing. I figured it's Passover. Might as well make everything clean. I can guarantee you there'll be no comments in the, in the bathroom. No. Mm -hmm. We're just going to... Thanks for hanging out today while we made some food and introduced Megan to Matzo Bry. And we're going to go get them and clean it up good. Mm -hmm. We'll catch you up soon. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Wipe down your tiles and I cleaned off the top of your dryer. Appreciate you. I can't see the top of my dryer. But the top I, of my dryer is dead to me. Yeah. Yes, but you do have tall people that live in the house. And I'm sure they've noticed. Uh, they don't hang out. <laughs> I do yeah. that. I have all kinds of stuff I do that about. <laughs> yeah. The short people rule the world. Not just if short people rule the world, we'd be able to reach everything. Uh, everything would be at my knees.